We begin with breaking news this afternoon. Little Rock police working a fatal accident involving a school bus in West Little Rock. This happening near Town Oaks Drive and Treasure, Treasure Hill Road. Rather, KRK Force Mitch McCoy joins us live with the very latest. And Mitch, what do we know right now? Yeah, Mallory, good afternoon. Uh, Little Rock police got the call just after 2 o'clock this afternoon about an accident involving a school bus. And when officers got on scene, they found that school bus that appears to have hit a tree uh, with a body in the road. I'm going to step out and show you kind of what investigators are, are looking at right now. You can see that school bus and you see all of the police officers, which include accident reconstruction investigators. We're being told that uh, the school bus uh, may have shifted out of gear at at some point right here on Town Oaks, which it may be kind of difficult to see, but this is actually just a slight small hill here on Town Oaks. So we're being told by Little Rock police that that school bus may have shifted out of gear when uh, possibly the driver, according to police, tried to jump back into the school bus, but uh, the school bus, in fact, may have ran him over. Again, still very early on in the investigation. It's important to note here that there were no students involved in this accident, and for more on all of that, I want to bring in Jessica Duff. She's the spokesperson for the Pulaski County Special School District. Jessica, thanks for joining us. I know a lot of this information is still early on, but what are you able to tell us from the school district's perspective on exactly what's unfolding here today? Well, Mitch, most of the, the details you have shared are, are accurate. We do know that there were no students on the bus, which is a relief. The um, person, the district employee who was driving this bus, who arrived on the scene to help with a mechanical issue for another bus. So he swapped buses, this district employee swapped buses. So all the students that had been on the original bus were transferred off of it. So we know that those students are safe and they went on to their after school activities. Um, this district employee then took the bus that was malfunctioning and was um, believed that there may have been some additional issues. So he put the bus in park got off to check something and that's when police believe based on witness reports that were on the scene that the bus got out of gear and that's when he this district employee went after the bus tell me a little bit about just the shock i mean that your district's going through you guys are in the early process of notifying family members tell me a little bit about how this will this investigation and how the district's going to be moving forward well obviously our condolences go out to the family once we do have a, t a chance to know them and the district uh these um, employees were like a family. I mean, I'm new to this family here and I've gotten that sense right away that everyone is very connected. So um, when any of our staff members are involved in a tragedy of any sorts, it's it's felt all the way to the core and um, taking some time to, to process this and to reevaluate processes that we do when we have malfunctions, that there's you know more than one person to handle these situations so that nobody is left alone in a situation like this, we'll definitely be looking into. Um, but again, Again, um, it's it's definitely rocking us to our core and dealing with the loss of any life, no matter who it is, is difficult to handle. All right, Jessica, thank you. And obviously the Pulaski County Special School District will be uh, joining in on this investigation with the Little Rock Police Department. Mallory, as we toss it back to you, just to recap exactly what we've learned here just in the last few moments. It appears that the school bus that crashed had some kind of mechanical issue before the accident happened, but there were no students on board because the students were taken from this bus and moved to a different one because of those mechanical issues. And that district employee, uh, Peers, according to police, started chasing after this school bus uh, when the accident happened. So we are uh, going to continue to try and learn more throughout this newscast, but uh, we'll have much more as this story continues to develop, and we'll continue speaking with some of my sources here at the Little Rock Police Department at the scene. For now, live in West Little Rock, Mitch McCoy, KRK4 News.